project. Mm -hmm. And so our school, um, Nataki Taliba Schoolhouse of Detroit, started as a private institution. And this person, Daryl Dixon, gave money for students to come to the school for scholarship. So much so that we're like, everyone should do what Daryl Dixon did. So um, for the last, very, the last many years, um, each student is asked to give um, something away, their old clothes, um, so it doesn't have to have anything to do with money. It could be an old toy, old clothes, help somebody with math. Um, <laughs> what are some of the other options? The, you know, work at a soup kitchen, work at a soup kitchen read to the elderly, <laughs> maybe do some yard work for someone <laughs> who's, you know, physically challenged. Yeah, so we said, well, since um, we would like more students to participate, we'll make them into makers. <laughs> <laughs> and so each, we have three schools of thought. We have K through two, they're in one school of thought. Then you graduate from that school of thought and you go to the second one, which is three through five. And the third one is six through eight. Um, and this is what it really is? Or this is this what, is what it really is yes. at the okay. school. Okay. So what we're trying to do is make the project instead of just saying, you all could do some of these things. How about you do them, okay? And then get back to us. Instead, we're saying, let's organize it better. So. Um, the students will have something they can do, and they can they still have some choice in it, but they can um, participate more more students can participate because right. the, the original structure is they just get direction and they go home and then they're supposed to bring back some sort of evidence that they that they've done the project. What we're doing now is we're our thinking is to, in order to increase participation and really get all of the students involved, is to make it more classroom based and make it a little bit more focused. So our ideas were to have the first school of thought be our fundraisers um, and be our bookmakers so that they're documenting uh, what, they, what they work on as far as fundraising. We had uh, a couple of ideas for different Reasons organization or reasons to make a book mm -hmm. um, children's hospital um, we had a we had a student um, that passed last year so maybe in his honor they could do the students that knew him would do fundraising and a little book about maybe um, children like Marquise or um, something like that Kiva is a small um, loan um, organization so you give twenty dollars um, to a particular um, farm or family and they give you the money back. So this could actually be a recycled payment that the family uses every year. They just wow. choose a different person to, to loan it to. And then the Heifer International is what we made the book for. My Heifer Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> and so the whole book is like, why well, it would be a good idea for me to have these, to adopt these Heifer Chicks. Although they're in Guatemala, it will be a good thing because the chicks will be um, well taken care of and, and so the student can take the book home and get a lot of support for their fundraising effort. Um, so these are the curriculum tie-ins, right? Right here in the blue. Mm -hmm. um, the second school of <laughs> thought, we want them to really be makers because they will knit and crochet and do things even when you don't ask them to. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're thinking they can make handmade dolls um, for for children's, they can go to children's hospital or, or shelters um, to just children who want them, <laughs> <laughs> their siblings. <laughs> um, blankets, is it the Humane Society? Humane oh, Society. Humane Society. So um, blankets that the pets need when they're being that transported. Can, that can fit or, it, or can fit in their crates while they're, while they're uh, at the society waiting for adoption. Yeah. Like <laughs> 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 News like collecting newspapers. And the daughter works. Oh, okay. Um, so that's what we thought. Of course, the rugs inspired us. We were like, let's get the big loom and hang and do that every, every, every other you know time during the recess. Um, so we put them to work. And so for our eighth graders, we wanted them to maybe work on site, to go to gleaners, pack those bags, um, because middle schoolers are always at their best when they're thinking about someone else. <laughs> um, the greening of Detroit, <laughs> we thought about, um, my idea was the collecting rainwater to give to the community gardens, but it could be something else, but this was easy to make. 
mm -hmm. little rainwater container. Um, possibly something for the um, habitat for humanity, mm -hmm. something that they can go to, help out, come back. Um, and that connects to environmental measurement, math, trying to make an object. They could actually, um, in their classrooms with their teacher, think of something else that is an uh, object of need and make that. Whether it maybe it's um, ponchos or, or something that they can kind of sew together, make, and then give away. Yeah. So this right here.